Amnesty International Zimbabwe on Friday launched the Death Sentences and Executions Global Report at a time the country is moving toward the abolishment of the death penalty. The report reveals that over 1,100 executions were carried out in 2023 alone, an increase from 883 in 2022. In Zimbabwe, the bill to abolish the death penalty has been receiving support from both the ruling party, opposition parties and civic society organizations. We get more in the following report. It's been a long winding road for Zimbabwe, but the abolishment of the death penal process now seems to be at its tail end. Traditional leaders say Zimbabwe already had its ways of punishing offenders before the death penalty was imposed by colonialists. Fungwa kana unu wakafana na yu uu kutimu na anotaza, anu urawa. Ndosa kata ili pirana. Dambu zikuringa iti kendri mazwaro wakutua mamunu funga kutinyaya. Zilungo pera nekuri kwa chete nekuda kwe msoro umunu. Kana kuti nekuda kwe zimwe nzira. Nyaya zese zaka ngo pera zishinguri pirana wawani wachiri pirana. Abangu shandisa msoro munu chete asindosa kapuchinzi kwa shinzi pana ita dangari mumbi pana ita kuita kutiva nwa garisa ni mnezu waga naka. With death penalty abolishment bill currently in process, traditional leader say Zimbabwe is in the right direction. Chini change chato nunoka kutichitwe, saka na isisu tuwe sema tungamiri iliwe wanu, sema leaders ya wanu. Chini chata kange takato vumakari mkatarisa kuma vumirano zwa kaitwa. Kuna na 2013 ni ma chiefs council. Mchawona kutiwa nuhu wakangewa ini tutori ni position ikari kutichini cha wachide munu asi. The various stakeholders in the country are optimistic the bill will soon be passed into law. And we have agreed with the Minister of Justice. We are now going to the committee stage when Parliament resumes sitting on the 11th of June. Then after the sitting of the, we have gone through the committee stage, we then take the bill to Senate. Then after the Senate, we then go to the President for his signature. So in our calculations, we believe that by 30 June this year, we should have an act of Parliament abolishing death penalty. Although Zimbabwe had the death penalty law in place, no executions effectively took place for decades. The country therefore did not add to the 1,100 executions carried out in 2023 or in previous years globally. The removal of the death penalty law is, however, viewed as a big step in the country's development. For Zetin Prime, I am Merida in Singo. Yeah, so a lot of uh, issues around uh, the death penalty, but I think uh, what I've appreciated is that from a Zimbabwean perspective, I think we've aligned, we seem to be on the same page. Yes, uh, we don't like... What do you think about the death penalty? Though? Let's abolish it. I, I, you I don't, don't th think it's, it's if somebody murders someone, I don't they should get I don't think it's well. our place to decide. Whose place is uh, it? God's place. God's place. Yeah, I think, no, I, I think the taking a life, whether, I mean, you just come back to that basic tenant. Two wrongs do not Don't make, make a right. right. I, I am all for the criminal justice system and, you know, people going to jail, paying penance, uh, you know, rehabilitation okay. and all that. And I'd rather put, put him in jail for life. Okay. Put him in jail for life. But I think, because you're, you're creating, to, like, because I think one of the challenges with the death sentence and Zimbabwe, I think, I think we were struggling to find even hangmen people who actually wanted to do their job. Mm -hmm. And maybe because of our own cultural intricacies, Beliefs, yeah. you know, about Ngozi and all that stuff. Uh, what do you think? Are you pro? Next story, please. Okay. <laughs> You're like, no. Nope. So, no, my question is, sometimes you, you um, let this person go, obviously they have rehabilitation mm. and they can do, say, 30 years or 40 years mm. and then they come out, say, maybe on amnesty and they go out and do the same thing again. What then do you do to that person? Because we have heard stories about people who uh, uh, commit these severe crimes, mm. whether it's murder or whether it's something else, and they come out and then they repeat that. So what happens to that repeat offender? Yeah, well, I think that's... Is that when the abolishment act comes in? Like, okay, let's now, it's your turn. Well, we're not really experts in this, but... Uh, but it's, <laughs> it's something, just a question. I mean, no, I it's, don't... it's something for all of us to think about and say, all right, because you hardly... I think we've had over the last couple of years, to be fair, instances of, you know, serial killers. Yeah. You know, people who, who just do ritual killings and all that. So an argument could be made for that. But I think, for me, generally, I'm anti... Death penalty. death penalty, but I think, I guess if you want to go case by case, 
basis, then that could be a Pandora's box. It's like, okay, what determines whether somebody gets a death sentence on a... Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.